Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel of Modular Synthesizer, Bass Put. And today I would like to talk to you about the, how I use my Frap Tools Usta here, part 2. So in this video, I would like to talk about the, how I use this one in my composition. So we will use this one to make the patch from scratch, from the very beginning. And I would like to talk about the implementation and how I use that, the clock, stage and everything channels and how I divide that into maximize all the channels here to trigger all of the samples. So if you haven't seen my video of part one of the Usta, uh, here's the link and uh, uh, above. And yeah, let's dive in. Alright, so all you have to do is just press this encoder, the silver encoder for about 3 seconds. And you have a um, selective here about new, load, save, save as. And for this case, press new. And you have in a slice new project and press yes. And you have completely all new projects here. Haven't assigned yet. Oh yeah, for this uh, demo, I would like to use the sample oscillators from Bukla. I sampled from S. Yep, and here's how it sounds. So, basically, the oscillator signs from a um, couple of oscillators from Bukla. Okay, let's move to channel one here. Okay, all you have to do is just press this at front, press this toggle for about once and you have internal BPM and for this case I would like to use that to um, just leave it there because we would like to use the clock source so you have two options which is built in and you have the internal um, tempo BPM from Usta but I would like to use the external clock so I got the clock source input here from Pamela's look workout and yep and i think at the moment it's just like that oh yeah and cva mode you have pitch this is cv and cvb mode you have row so you row it's you can um change every pitch into semitones and every um you know very experimental um approach and for this reason for this demo i would like to use that cv mode for pitch as well Okay, so that's the CVB for pitch, but for um, as I already shown you in the part one, you can set the CVB and everything with the set mode here. So once you press set, you also implement that for every channels here. One, two, three, four. So how to do that? Just back from the beginning. So press set move the pitch and every CVB in 2, 3 and 4 and everything is being changed into pitch as you can see here CVB pitch now channel 3 CVB pitch alright so that's the pitch and scale so the next one is scale for these reasons let's change to minor pentatonic and press don't forget to use the set while you're holding that and everything is in minor pentatonic and you can leave it there yep all right let's use this one first okay i would like to talk about from the gate first let's try to set all yes the BPM from Pamela's new workout is 75 BPM. All right, that's the gate for channel one. And this is the channel two here. Let's move to 1B. Okay, we have the sound. All right. Okay, let's unmute this one first. This is A and move to one A. 
let's randomize the pitch. So whenever you try to push that, it's always quantized in the minor pentatonic, you see? Okay. So that's A. Let's move to B. That's the gate of the B. And let's move to C view of the B. Just randomize there. Okay, right, so that's the B. Okay, let's unmute the B first. Okay, so we move to randomize here. So that if you see, can see that this is the red, and if you press that, you move to the value of the randomize. Okay, let's put this one into around here. And you can hear it while I'm moving to the blue. So it has three layers, red, green and blue this is the uh, how to initiate the randomize moving the blue press at all okay and everything's being randomized right now okay let's see without the green without the blue so this is the sounds like let's decrease the reverb okay let's enable the randomization again Okay, increase the reverb again, let's move to B. Okay, set the ratio for this one is 1. Okay, let's move to channel 3. Enable the get as well from A. Randomize as well. Let's move to channel B in 3. Okay, let's move to channel 4. In gate A. Okay, randomize as well. So you can hear already that we have the very variation of the randomization here and with the pentatonic minor. It's B for B. Randomization as well. Okay, let's enable the random for the 4A. For B, let's move to number three. Okay, let's move to number three and B. And here you can hear already the three channels here. Actually, uh, six sounds, voices, but it's kind of overlapping, right? So let's move the ratio and make a difference so channel one has one ratio number three let's make it to number two to ratio two not this one sounds already interesting number four into ratio four maybe let's make it more faster
all right we have one channel left number two here let's make it lower to everyone every stage here enable the gate CV Okay, let's move this so we have the vari uh, variation of the gate here. We can move it randomly by using the CV or input here to A or B. So I've got here for my Batsumi. Let's make this one channel A. Press this one and then scroll to stage shift have the inputs from A all right that's cool let's move what I've already fit into this one CVB that's good all right yep move faster and we also have the Pitch shift here. Let's make it more interesting here by CVA. Let's make the channel 3 as well. CVA for the pitch shift. CVB. That's cool, right? All right. So that's how I use the Fraptus Usta patch from scratch, um, comp composition from the very beginning, gate CV, and use the variation on the stage, pitch shift, and everything. You can already implement that uh, some kind of variation, and you just have to experiment with that. And that's it. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to check out my other video as well on the video channel as well. And let me know if you want me to demo other modules as well. Thank you and see you in the next video, part 3.